systems, and all these planets will be physically disintegrated in the Pralaya, yet not destroyed, for they have their places in the sequence of evolution and their privations, coming again out of the subjective, they will find the exact point from which they have to move on around. P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L-A-N-D-A-S-T-R-A-L-M-O-T-I-C-N 175 This present solar system to be blended with, and wrought out through it. Centuries go by and the man becomes ever more actively intelligent, and the field of his life more suitable for the coming in of this second aspect. The correspondence lies in similitude and not in detail as seen in time and space. It covers the period of the first three triangles dealt with earlier. We must not forget that, for the sake of clarity, we are here differentiating between the different aspects, and considering their separated development, a thing only permissible in time and space or during the evolutionary process, but not permissible from the standpoint of the eternal now, and from the unity of the all-self. The Vishnu or the love-wisdom aspect is latent in the self, and is part of the monadic content, but the Brahma aspect, the activity intelligence aspect precedes its manifestation in time. The tabernacle in the wilderness preceded the building of the Temple of Solomon. The kernel of wheat has to lie of Mother Earthness of Mother Earth before the golden perfected ear can be seen, and the lotus has to cast its roots down into the mud before the beauty of the blossoms. Deuce. The second period, wherein the egoic ray holds sway is not so long comparatively, it covers the period wherein the fourth and fifth triangles are being vivified, and marks the lives wherein the man throws his forces on the side of evolution, disciplines his life, steps upon the probationary path, and continues up to the third initiation. Under the regime of the personality ray, the man proceeds upon the five rays to work consciously with mind, the sixth sense, passing first upon the four minor rays and eventually upon the third. He works the chain of manifested forms. This, as you know, is repeated endlessly throughout eternity. Each man of us has gone this ceaseless round, and will repeat it forever and ever. The deviation of each one's course, and his rate of progress from nirvana to nirvana is governed by causes which he himself creates out of the exigencies in which he finds himself entangled. From the Mahatma letters to A. T. Sinit, P. 67. 176. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E -E on Cosmic Fire. Upon the third ray, are that of active intelligence, and from thence proceeds to one of the sub-rays of the two other major rays, if the third is not his egoic ray. Enquiry might naturally arise as to whether the egoic ray is necessarily one of the three major rays, and if initiates and masters are not to be found upon some of the rays of mind, the minor four. The answer lies here. The egoic ray can always be one of the seven, but we need to remember that, in this astral buddhic solar system, wherein love and wisdom are being brought into objectivity, the bulk of the monads are on the love-wisdom ray. The fact, therefore, of its being the synthetic ray has a vast significance. This is the system of the sun, whose name is love. This is the divine incarnation of Vishnu. The dragon of wisdom is in manifestation, and he brings into incarnation those cosmic entities who are in essence identical with himself. After the third initiation all human beings find themselves on their monadic ray, 
on one of the three major rays, and the fact that masters and initiates are found on all the rays is due to the following two factors. First, each major ray has its subrays, which correspond to all the seven. Second, many of the guides of the race transfer from one ray to another as they are needed, and as the work may require. When one of the masters or initiates is transferred it causes a complete readjustment. When a master likewise leaves the hierarchy of our planet to take up work elsewhere, it frequently necessitates a complete reorganization, and a fresh admission of members into the Great White Lodge. These, 